Greetings friends, welcome back. Today we're going to connect Redux to React. Connect Redux to React. Now you've written both map state to prop and map dispatch to props functions. You can use them to map state and dispatch to the props of one of your React components. The connect method from React Redux can handle this task. This method takes two optional arguments, map state to props and map dispatch to props. They are optional because you may have a component that only needs to access only needs access to state, but doesn't need to dispatch any actions or vice versa. To use this method, pass the functions as arguments. Okay, so say that again. They are optional because you don't have a component that only needs access to state, but doesn't need to dispatch any actions or vice versa. So this is more like a display component, the way I think about it. Uh, to use this method, pass in the functions as arguments and immediately call the result with your component. This syntax looks a little like this. So map state to prop, map dish to prop, and then you put your component in there. So I guess that connects them all. If you want to omit one of the arguments on the connect method, you pass null in its place. So the code editor has a map state to props. So this is the map state to props and map dispatch to props. So here's the map dispatch to props functions and a new React component presentational. So this must be the React com called presentational. Connect this component to Redux with the connect method. So connect is equal to React Redux connect from the React Redux global object and call it immediately on presentational component. Assign the result to a new constant called connected component. So const uh, connected component component <clears throat> and we're going to set that represents a connected component that's it now you're connected to Redux so I guess then we're going to just copy this um, we're going to say connect uh, map state to props and map uh, dispatch to props and then we want our component we're not going to say my component we're saying presentational and i'm going to expand this out just so it makes a little more sense wow it needs to be stretched all the way across the page to work but anyways that's the way it's supposed to look uh, this is a presentational component the fact that it popped up tells me that i've got it right um, so we run the test and see if that passes cool so yeah i guess what we're doing is just connecting a component to the props to the state and then the dispatch to the props and uh yeah hopefully this becomes more clear as to why we're doing this in the future hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next lesson